Hello, BookTube friends. Welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth, and I promise you I was not going to have an April book haul. And literally on the last two days of April, people gave me books. What are you going to do? I got these all for free, and I am excited to have them. So on the day of Dewey's Readathon, when I took my daughter Katie to a friend's birthday, her friend's mom, Cheryl, gave me a bag of books, and they're practically new. Hi Cheryl, thank you so much for the books. And there's a couple of them that I have really been interested in reading. So let me show you first what I got from her. They were even tied up so cute in this uh, twine with a cute little tag that I could reuse in my scrapbooks. Or I can, you know, it's blank so I could reuse it as a gift tag. The book that was on the top of the stack is The Nest by Cynthia Diaprick Sweeney. I've seen this on our library website. I've seen it around BookTube. I don't know really anything about it, but it's really a pretty cover, and I'm hoping that it's going to be a really good book. This one I had never heard of, but it sounds like it's going to be great. It's H2O by Virginia Bergen, and from what I can tell about the cover, it has something to do with the water being poison and so it just looks really creepy and exciting and I am excited to have it. Here's another one I've been really wanting to read, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. Now I'm pretty sure I'm not going to thank my shirts and my towels for their service but I am always interested in reading a good organizing book and I'm hoping that maybe I can glean something from this book that I can use. I'm not sure I'll read this one, but I know Mindy Kaling is a lot of fun, so I definitely plan on giving it a second look before I pass it on to someone else. Another one I have never heard of, don't know anything about, The Devil's Making by Sean Haldane, but it says it's a mystery, so maybe I'll save this for next year for March Mystery Madness. And then here's one I hadn't planned on reading, but of course it's all over BookTube, so now that I have a copy, I may as well read it. An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. I don't know anything about it, but it seems like most people on BookTube have read this, so I'll be excited to take a look at it. Then on Sunday, I got a call from a friend of mine who used to be in the Friends of the Library back when I used to do the book sales, and now she has her own resale shop, and she mostly sells antiques, but she also has a business where she cleans out houses after estate sales, and and that's how she gets her inventory for her store. So, so she doesn't really sell books at her store. And she had accumulated a few bins full of books and she knew that Randy sells some books on eBay and wondered if we would just come and take them off her hands. So we stopped by her house on Sunday after we went to a peach orchard and did some you pick peach picking <laughs> and we picked up the books. So on Monday we actually went through them and uh, and there are several that we could probably try to sell on eBay and some that I'm just going to go ahead and donate to charity but there were a handful that I'm going to hang on to to either give as gifts or keep and read myself. This one I'm going to add to my Miss Read collection. It's Tales from a Village School. I did a whole Saturday Shelfie video on Miss Read and this is one that I didn't have. This one may be the very last one. It is a compilation of essays and short stories from her experiences in school teaching. And, and I don't know if they're fictionalized or if, or if they're actual true stories. I'm not really sure. And I don't think this one is part of the Thrush Green or the Fair Acre series, but it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun and really looking forward to getting into the misread books hopefully next year. I actually had a copy of this book and I loaded it to a friend and so this was in there and I just decided to tell my friend that he could keep it and I've got another copy. This is book one in the Summer Hill Secrets by Beverly Lewis. I don't know anything about this series. The same friend I gave my copy to had read book two of this series and passed it on to me. So um, he seemed to enjoy it. He's read a lot of Beverly Lewis books. So I was excited to have another copy. I'm not sure when I'm gonna get it read. It's pretty chunky, but it looks like it'll be real good. This one is just a little book that I think I'm going to put in my mother-in-law's gift bag for Mother's Day. It's called Old Wives Lore for Gardeners by Maureen and Bridget Boland. My mother-in-law has the greenest thumb of anyone I know, and she loves to garden and grow things, and I thought she would get a kick out of this book. Plus, she loves to read, so I enjoy giving her books as well. I'm going to make an attempt to read this, although when I tried to read the original Don't Sweat the Small Stuff book. I kept getting so aggravated because really I live to sweat the small stuff. <laughs> but this one is Don't Sweat the Small Stuff in Love. Simple ways to nurture and strengthen your relationships while avoiding the habits that break down your loving connection. That's a mouthful. But, you know, I thought 
why not? So it looks like it's just little short chapters. Maybe I'll put this in the bathroom or something where I'll just kind of read on it a little along. Maybe I can glean something from it. I probably should. This one just caught my eye. I don't really know anything about it, but it looks like it would be worth taking a second look at. It says it's called Live a Thousand Years, Have the Time of Your Life by Giovanni Lavira. And I just thought it looked like an uplifting kind of book, and I thought I would take a look at it. And I only kept this one simply because I recognize the author, and I've read a couple of her books. This is a book club edition. It's two books in one. It's by Lori, uh, they're both by Lori Wick, A Place Called Home, and A Song for Silas. So these are Christian romances, probably historical fiction. So it's set in the Old West. The books that I have read by Lori Wick are also set in Texas, like back in the probably in the 1800s. It was in the box of stuff she gave us and I thought I would just go ahead and hang on to it for now. Then we actually did get some more books earlier in the month from my father-in-law's friend who knows that we sell books on eBay and brought over a load which my husband went through and pulled out a few that he thought would sell and we're donating a lot of those to charity as well. I didn't end up keeping any of those. It was wonderful that three different people thought of us to give us books. And I'm really excited to read some of these. So those are the books I got in April, all for free. I hope you got some good books this month too. And if you did a book haul video, link it down below. If I haven't commented on it, maybe I didn't get to see it. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.